anybody out there? Hello? Can anybody hear me? Hello? This has been the Bondsman. Can anybody hear me? How do you work this dang thing? Hey folks, Ben the Bondsman here. Um, I just wanted to do a uh, video on the Woshan KG UVD1P. They seem to be getting to be a pretty popular radio. So I just wanted to do kind of a review and a, a quick how to on some of the functions. Um, I've had this radio now for about three months um, and I started out with the Bofang UV5R and I still have the Bofang UV5R but I have since obtained my um, amateur radio operators license and I am a amateur general class uh, licensed operator so I thought I would kind of go over the differences between the UV5R and the Woshan. Well, just right off the bat, the computer programming interface is like night and day. I, uh, the ability to program the Woshan compared to the Bofang is so much easier. Um, you can copy and paste frequencies in alpha tags. You can uh, export and import program lists. You can save your programming. Um, with the Bofang, really, I've, the, the computer software makes it easier to program, but to resort your channels or to reorder your channels or to recall your channels from a uh, saved file. I haven't been able to figure out how to do that with the Bofang. With the Woshan, I can do that. Um, what I do every time I reprogram the radio, I export the file to a CSV, comma separated value, and put it in on an Excel spreadsheet. And I keep that with me in my uh, little folder that I've made uh, for emergencies so I know what frequencies are what, not just the alpha tags and the channels. Um, also, the Bofang for me has been very, very difficult to use or program using the keypad. This one is pretty easy. I mean, you lose, I mean, it's not as easy as the software, obviously, but. It, it's still pretty simple. Um, this one does everything that the that the Bofang will do. It has can of food to the egg bowl on November the 24th to the AM FM radio. It has the little flashlight, which I do use. It has A and B and dual monitor. If you hold down the scan button, it'll scan. Now, it will not dual monitor while it's scanning. I did find that out the other day where the Bofang will. This one will not. But that's okay. It's a uh, give and take process. You, uh, you lose some functionality, but I think what you gain is a lot more than what you lose. The Bofang will actually dual monitor scan dual monitor and FM radio where this one if I go to FM radio it'll still dual monitor but it won't scan and you know just little little bitty things like that but it, w it does still work very very well um, I just want to show you in case you don't know already how to user program a channel and it's really a very simple process. You, you hit your menu button. Oops, I'll let it time out. Hit your menu button. 
scan back to where it says channel mode all right you want to hit your menu button where the arrow drops down and you change ah let it time out again and you change it there's channel frequency mode name mode channel mode and then just frequency mode and then you hit menu to enter that mode now you're in VFO your VFO mode does not get you your programmed channels now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and program in the national um, VHF amateur calling frequency which is one four six five two zero okay now what I want to do is I want to store that frequency don't pay attention to that the bottom frequency because it was just in dual mode let's take it out of dual mode but to take it out of dual monitor you just hit this TDR button real simple and then you can switch back and forth from A to B alright so now that I've got the 520 <clears throat> plugged in there and there's no PL tone nothing like that you're gonna hit your menu button again and you're going to find memory channel alright so I'm gonna hit menu and then I'm gonna select a channel alright if you see the CH out there beside that that means there's already a frequency plugged into bank number three bank number two and so on and so forth so what you want to do is you want to go till that CH disappears alright you see that means when it disappears that means there's no memory channel programmed in there I am going to channel 84 because I like to keep all of my radios programmed exactly alike mobiles handhelds the whole nine yards that way that the radios that don't have alpha tag capability um, I can memorize the channel number so I'm gonna go to 84 and hit menu again and there we are I can delete that channel by hitting menu twice under delete channel of course I'm not gonna do that alright now if this channel has a name I can oh I guess you gotta do that on computer that's one step I haven't tried okay so I guess you can't do the channel name now I know what it's gonna do is it's gonna store when it stored that it stored it as channel name CH84 I'll show you that in a second but this is where I would uh, do the offset if if it were a where'd that go ah if it were a repeater I would set the offset here um, if I wanted to set a transmit DCS or receive DCS I, I would do that here which this one don't have one I'm just showing you and then you would hit menu again to store now this one it's showing a uh, transmit CTC which I didn't want that so I have to turn it to off store now I got now I need to restore this uh, I need to restore this channel which means I'm gonna have to come here and delete channel 84 alright and memorize it again alright so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to channel mode I can go to name or channel and frequency I'm going to go to channel and frequency because I want to make sure the frequency was set right alright so one oh it 
and it's not set right. Look at me making a fool out of myself. Five two zero. Delete it again. And memorize it again. And then go back here and go to channel. That's why I always check this before I go back to name. Okay, we're at 14652. All right, awesome. So now I can just put it on name. And there it is, CH084. And then whenever I uh, whenever I get to my computer, I'll go ahead and name that frequency whatever is appropriate for uh, that frequency and it'll probably be uh, in call or something like that for national call channel and you know I have my Biloxi repeaters Bay St. Louis repeaters a DX a local DX repeater Gulfport Gulfport UHF just different uh, Hattiesburg just different repeaters program I mean this thing has a 128 uh, storage banks I've also got Hurricane Sandy was located near latitude 29.7 north and I also have the local fire and sheriff and all that stuff on it so and some other channels that we're not gonna really care about right now so you can go directly to channels also if you know what channel you want to be on like we can go straight to 84 by punching it in and it would go right there so that's kind of a, uh, a not so technical how to on the Woshan UVD 1P oh you can also change your channels with the these buttons here so or this top in short this is a very good radio um, I'm a lot more satisfied with it than I am the Bofang it's a lot sturdier it, it's a lot meatier if it, it, it just has a better feel in my hand it doesn't it doesn't feel like a, a cheap toy you know I, I'll, I'll keep the Bofangs for the uh, the emergency bags you know um, but as far as my day-to-day -day use talking on the hand bands and uh, things like that I'm gonna use this one I did some range testing um, I, I would say getting this extended antenna is a must and the programming cable is a must the software is free you can download it online but the the extended antenna makes all the difference in the world when it comes to range I'm hitting repeaters uh, 30 miles 35 miles away from me by air um, without a problem you know some repeaters I have a, a harder time with than others but out of the two radios I can't hit those repeaters with the other radio is it because of its quality it's the same antenna uh, it's still you know the Bofang still does a good job for uh, what it is but this is a much better radio and uh, I don't know if you can see this or not I have beat it to hell and back and it's still kicking it went sliding down the road today across pavement I don't even want to talk about that but it still works as you can see um, it's been dropped, kicked, stepped on. I haven't run it over yet. Uh, I'm sure it's coming though. And I'm sure that'll probably be the end of it. Anyway, that's my uh, short review and comparison of the Woshan versus the Bofang. I think it's just a much better quality radio. And I'm going to sign out of here and uh, watch the train go by. Anyway. 
Ben the Bondsman, signing out. Let me know what you think.